This video explains how to convert a character string to numeric in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In the first part of this tutorial, I will show you how to convert a vector object from the character data type to the numeric data type. And for this, we first need to create an example vector, as you can see in line two of the code. So after running this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object called vec is appearing. And we can print this vector object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that we have created a vector object containing seven different values. However, you can also see that these values are currently formatted as characters. We can also check the class of our vector object using the class function, as you can see in line five of the code. And after running this line of code, you can see that the current data class of our data object vec is the character class. So if you want to convert this vector object to a numeric object, we can use the s.numeric function, as you can see in line seven of the code. So in this line of code, I'm applying the s.numeric function to our vector object and I'm storing the output of this in a new data object that I call vecnum. So after running line seven of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object called vecnum is appearing. And if you print this vector object to the bottom in the RStudio console, you can see that now our values are shown without quotes, which already indicates that we are dealing with a numeric object. However, we can also apply the class function once again, as you can see in line 10 of the code, and then you can see that our new data object, vecnum, is a numeric data object. So in this first part of the tutorial, I have explained how to convert a vector object from the character class to the numeric class. However, it's also possible to convert the columns of a data frame from the character class to the numeric class. And this is what I want to show you in the next part of this video, starting in line 12. So as a first step, I'm creating an example data frame, as you can see in lines 12 to 14. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame object called data is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 15 of the code. And then you can see that our data frame contains six rows and the three columns x1, x2, and x3. And all of these columns contain numbers. However, if we check the classes of all our data frame columns using the class and as apply functions, as you can see in line 17 of the code, you can see at the bottom that the first column x1 and the third column x3 currently have the character class. Now let's assume that we want to convert only one of these columns in this example, the column x1 from the character class to the numeric class then it makes sense to first duplicate our data frame because I also want to keep an original version of our data frame. And I'm doing this as you can see in line 19 of the code. So after running this line of code, a new data frame called data new one is appearing at the top right. And at this point, this data frame contains the same values and the same column classes as our input data frame. However, in line 20 of the code, I'm converting the first column x1 to the numeric class using the s.numeric function. So after running this line of code, our data frame column is updated. We cannot see that by printing our data frame because the numbers are still the same. However, if we check the classes of our data frame columns once again, as you can see in line 23 of the code, you can see that the first column x1 now has the numeric class. You can also see that the third column x3 still has the character class. And in the next example, I want to show you how to convert all columns in a data frame that have the character class to the numeric class. And in this example, I'm also duplicating our data frame first because once again, I want to keep an original version of our data frame. So after running line 25 of the code, a new data frame object called data new 2 is created. And then in the next step in 926, I'm creating a logical indicator which tells me which of the columns of our data frame have the character class. So after running this line of code, a new data object called char columns is created. We can print this data object to the bottom and then you can see that this 
data object identifies the character columns in our data frame. And then in the next step, I'm using this data object to create a subset of our data frame and to replace this subset by the numeric data class. So after running line 27 of the code, our new data frame data new2 is updated. Once again, we cannot see that by printing the data frame. However, we can see it by showing the classes of our data frame columns. So after running line 30 of the code, you can see that now the first column x1 and as well the third column x3 have the numeric class. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.